And we're doing this knee? That's the one. All right. Dr. Danae Wolford grew up and practiced medicine in Johannesburg, South Africa. Population, six million. So how did she end up practicing in Spirit River, Alberta? Population, 900. Well, her mom grew up in Spirit River and then moved to South Africa. Every couple of summers since she was two years old, Danae would come here to visit her extended family. In 2016, she brought her partner Kyle along with her. At that time, both her grandmother and grandfather still lived in Spirit River. When we went home, Kyle was pretty adamant that he loved Canada and he kept saying to me, I really think we should consider moving there. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it. So I looked into the process, I wrote the first exam and then it, everything sort of just fell into place. First stop, High Level, where she practiced under Dr. Heinrich Brusso. I did my practice ready assessment in High Level for three months. It was a wonderful time. I really enjoyed those three months. We arrived, I think on the 4th of February and it was like minus 50. <laughs> she survived the cold and started a practice in Spirit River, replacing Dr. Tom Phillips, who had recently retired. There's definitely a bit of a culture shock when you move, um, but there's so many things that I love about rural and small towns. This is where I want to be. I love living here, I love working here, I love the people, I love the medicine, it's interesting. I feel like my career has taken me to places I never knew I could go in rural. I, I do so much more than I ever thought I would be able to do as a family doctor, so I, I have no regrets. Dr. Wolfert wasn't in Spirit River long, before she was asked to be a preceptor for the University of Alberta's Grand Prairie Residency Program. I'm done. Woo. When I first moved, Susan Smith, who was the recruiter that helped me get this position here, she'd asked me if I would be interested and I, I sort of went, oh, sure. Uh, you know, at, at the beginning you kind of say yes to everything because you don't want to say no. I was quite nervous because um, I didn't really think I was like qualified enough to be teaching, but it's it's been a fantastic experience. Um, it's been really fun. All the residents have been fantastic doctors. When Dr. Wolford arrived, she became one of two physicians practicing in Spirit River. Today, there is a full complement of four practicing here. So just relax your leg. That includes Dr. Deanna Funk, who joined the team in August 2022. A year earlier, she did a residency under Dr. Wolfert. In 2021, I was here for a couple months and worked with Dr. Wolfert um, as a resident and I really enjoyed my time here and that was a big part of the reason that I ended up coming back. We've seen the value of rural residencies, not just for training, but also for uh, recruitment and retention. I've even seen some of my medical students that have come through have said, well, you know, I, I really would never have thought of rural, but now I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in a rural residency and because sometimes the idea of rural is scary you know you're, you're on your own uh, you never know what's coming in for some people that's exciting for other people that's terrifying so I think coming in and seeing that actually we are these fantastic small teams that are really supportive and you know we work together from our from our clinic staff to our hospital staff to our nurses pharmacists we work as this one big team and generally things go really well and you're supported. I love this place. Bye. Bye see, you, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>